In the second and third centuries AD, the Limes formed the border of the Roman Empire in the Germanic provinces. The Upper German Ration Limes is the largest archaeological monument in Germany. With a length of 550 kilometers, it traverses a wide variety of landscapes between the rivers Rhine and Danube in what today is southwest Germany. Along the Limes, many forts, ranging in size from large to small, guarded the border. These were supplemented by more than 900 watchtowers built of wood and stone. The border fortification was manned by 30,000 soldiers and consisted primarily of a system of ramparts and ditches with a continuous wooden palisade. In some areas, the Limes runs dead straight. In the province of Raetia, now eastern Württemberg and Bavaria, the fortification was later reinforced with a solid stone wall. In 2005, the Limes was granted the status of a UNESCO World Heritage Site and placed under international protection. The German Limes Commission and national heritage authorities now face the challenge of protecting this archaeological monument while simultaneously making it accessible to the public. The Bavarian State Conservation Office has carried out pioneering work in the documentation of the remains of the archaeological monument. As early as 2007, the office initiated a survey of the Bavarian sections of the Limes using the latest in airborne 3D laser scanning technology. Today, major archaeological sites like these are examined using state-of-the-art surveying and documentation technology. Used in conjunction with comprehensive site inspections, surveys and the mapping of all visible structures, the systematic application of airborne 3D laser scanning provides new opportunities to record and present the current conservation state of the Limes features with extremely precise 3D models. The Bavarian Limes, shown here as it looked in the 2nd century AD, was surveyed in a series of campaigns from 2007 to 2008. Arctron 3D, an engineering company from Regensburg specializing in archaeological documentation, and Milan Geoservice from Cottbus collaborated to survey more than 160 kilometers of the Limes by helicopter. The helicopter is fitted with technological components of extremely high quality. Not only do they continuously determine the exact position of the aircraft in three-dimensional space, they can also simultaneously register and administer up to 160,000 3D laser measurements per second. The 3D laser scanner generates hundreds of millions of points within a very short time. Measurements are made with the speed of light, namely the time difference between emitting and receiving the reflected laser beam. The systematic use of this new method of prospection has revolutionized the way data is retrieved from archaeological sources, especially in wooded areas. The high penetration of laser scanning allows pulsed laser beams to infiltrate forest growth and reach the forest floor. Vegetation, especially trees and undergrowth, can now be filtered out in the computer model to reveal the features hidden below. For example, historical monuments, burial mounds, ancient field terraces and path systems. This method of prospection is particularly advantageous for the Bavarian Limes. As the remains of the Limes in Bavaria lie to a large extent in forests, they have been protected from intensive agricultural exploitation, plowing and leveling. Airborne laser scanning can provide a wealth of fascinating and important findings in such situations. Many features which previously could not be accurately located or which could not be properly identified or even recognized because they lie in densely wooded areas can now be brought to light with laser scanning. 
Both science and the general public benefit from this development. Let us take a look at the computer model of a small section of the Bavarian Limes near Erkertshofen in the district of Eichstätt. The laser data reveals several interesting features. Initially, the limes consisted of a forest track and patrol route monitored from wooden towers. A low, square structure becomes visible in the laser scan, which specialists can identify as the remains of a wooden watchtower monitoring the track. Comparing these features with the ancient images on Trajan's column in Rome, and considering the results of archaeological excavations, one can image a wooden tower similar to the reconstruction shown here. After 160 AD, a continuous palisade of bisected oak trunks was erected to tighten supervision of the border. From this point onwards, the border could only be crossed at official checkpoints. Although the remains of the palisade ditch are barely recognizable in the forest, they can be partially detected in the scan of the limes. Over time, the wooden towers were gradually replaced by massive stone towers. In Raetia, the wooden palisade was replaced in the beginning of the 3rd century AD with a stone wall about 1 meter wide and probably 3 to 3.5 meters high. The watchtowers were incorporated in the wall. The procedure used to build the wall becomes clear in the laser scan. Quarry pits that were dug alongside the Limes wall provided a cheap and easy way to obtain local Jurassic limestone for the wall's construction. There were also a large number of military facilities near to and behind the Limes. These range from small encampments and fortlets to cavalry forts up to six hectares in size. This Limes section contains some particularly interesting features. Near Hegeloa, for instance, an encampment or fortlet measuring around 20 meters on each side can be identified, although it is hardly visible in the terrain. In the vicinity of Bibig, a somewhat larger fortlet stands out clearly. It was encompassed by a ditch and the interior structures were built against the fort walls to save space. The fortlet of Burgsalach in Middle Franconia, which dates from the first half of the 3rd century AD, has a form that is unique along the entire Limes. The square complex was two stories high and measured 33 meters along each side. It featured an interior courtyard and a semicircular recessed entrance. It is possible that around 100 men from a subdivision of a North African legion was posted to Raetia and stationed here at Borg Salak. An excavation during World War I found the walls in a very good state of preservation. In some areas they rose over three meters in height. Today, however, only parts of the wall have survived and are visible. 
When documenting valuable features such as these, high-precision terrestrial laser scanning is used in addition to airborne scanning to capture the remaining structures. In this way, accurate records of current conditions can be generated. Archaeological features can be documented with a resolution of a few millimeters using these innovative technologies. As well as capturing 3D geometries, surface textures are recorded with high precision using a calibrated photogrammetry camera attached to the 3D scanner. Accurate three-dimensional and photorealistic plans can thus be generated. Scientists now have completely new ways to analyze features. Computer analyses can be performed in 3D and precise calculations of cross-sections and volumes as well as the accurate mapping of damages and more precise planning can be carried out. Precise 3D models now allow many issues to be more accurately simulated and addressed. Although only the foundations of the Limes Towers have been preserved, we can say with a high degree of certainty that they were once three stories high. There was a storage room on the ground floor. Above this was a living area and the entrance to the tower, and on the top floor there was a guard room. The Limes could be observed through large windows or from a gallery. Scientists can now analyze the lines of visual contact between the watchtowers and the areas they monitored with greatly improved accuracy on the computer. It is even possible to realistically simulate the exchange of visual and acoustic signals with computers. This gives us an indication of how archaeological research can be brought to life using modern computer models and visualization technology.